Hi, I'm Benny Goodson from Langlet's Leathers, and today I'm going to show you how to take care of one of our jackets. Cowhide, you know, it's going to be pretty stiff when you first get the jacket. You're going to receive some leather dressing, then a zipper wax to take care of the jacket. You can go ahead and put a light coat on it. It's going to help start the break-in process. It's also going to waterproof the jacket. It's also going to keep the jacket staying fresh throughout the rest of its life. You know, these jackets are going to last a super long time. Probably be handing them down to a family member at some point because these jackets are going to outlive all of us. So leather dressing, you just want to do a very light coat. Your bare hands, heat from your hands is going to help rub it into the hide. So when we say light coat, this is what we're talking about. Just till our fingertips are nice and wet. This is about it. I usually put on about this much. Then I pick out an area that I want to start working on in the jacket and I just start rubbing it in with my hands. The heat from your hands is starting to melt the leather dressing and get it into the hide. This area right here is pretty good. So I'll just grab a little bit more and just keep working. And just a circular motion, I mean, it doesn't matter if you go straight or, you know, most people find it comfortable just to go in a circle motion, but you can put it on however you like. So from right here to right here, this is good. This is kind of a nice shine that we're looking for on the jacket. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's also a kind of a good getting to know you phase with your jacket and looking at everything. I'll usually let the jacket set overnight and if there's any excess in the morning on the jacket, any spots that you may have laid on too heavy with the leather dressing, you can just take a dry cloth and just wipe off the excess the next day. That means the jacket was happy, it got enough leather dressing, it doesn't need any more, you're fine. This will also help waterproof the jacket so when you're out riding in the rain, the water is going to repel off the jacket a little bit easier. The cowhide is going to start to form and shape to your body, especially around your neck. This is the one spot where people, you know, we sweat. Some people sweat more than others, but the salt from our neck gets inside of the collar of your jacket and those salts can deteriorate leather over time. So I like to clean this off and do a nice coat. You don't want to over applicate it again because it's going to be against your neck and you don't want to fill a bunch of leather dressing on your neck, but do take care of the neck and wear points like that. You can do the backside, get it all nice and dressed up. Once you let this set overnight, come back again, dry cloth, wipe it off, same thing. If you live anywhere where they salt the roads and you're riding a lot, a lot of times that salt and bug guts gets up on the front of the jacket. We're just gonna use a warm washcloth and just wipe that down to get any kind of particles on the road. Just get that off. If you do need to wash your jacket before putting the leather dressing on, we wanna let the jacket hang dry for a, a long time, maybe a whole day before you put the leather dressing on. Don't have the jacket maybe in your garage or somewhere where it's super cold, you know, like if the jacket is in the house and it's in room temperature, it's going to be easier for the leather dressing to soak into the jacket. One of my favorite tricks is to hang the jacket out in the sun and just let the sun hit the jacket for an hour or two, then bring the jacket into the house and the leather dressing is just going to soak right into the jacket, no problem. Another area that people miss a lot is the wind flaps. This one looks great, it's a brand new jacket, but on older ones, this little piece of leather needs a little bit of attention too. Usually just one finger, just get a light coat on there, it's real nice. Get the wind flap. These are little areas that people miss, but still need attention. When you get to welts, again, maybe you just use one finger, but get the inside of the pocket welt too. That's nice, right there. Nice shiny coat. We use a heavy duty number 10 brass zipper. You also can choose nickel or black, but brass is standard at Langlet's. Then I'll usually zip it up about two or three inches. This jacket has a hidden snap, so you can't see it, but the principle's the same on all of our jackets. It's slightly offset, and the reason it's offset is to help protect the nylon on the feed pin for the zipper. Over time, that can tear, especially if it's a bigger person or a tighter jacket on someone, that can tear. So use the snap, then you can zip all the way up to the top. We also have zipper wax. Just like the leather dressing, we don't want to over apply the zipper wax. That can build up into the slider and then cause a problem later. It's just a super light coat with the zipper wax. 
just a little bit. That'll help the slider move up and down and protect your jacket. Same thing with any chest pockets, sleeve pockets, the wrist gussets, anywhere on the wrist goes a long way. We're just gonna use a nice light coat. You can go ahead and move the slider up and down a few times. What that does, it helps the brass against the brass and it makes this go down a little bit easy. Sometimes the brass is kind of grabby when it's brand new. It just needs to break in a little bit, like a new pocket. You can kind of feel it. It's just a little grabby. If you just go ahead and spread the pocket welts out, grab your zipper wax and just throw a little bit on there. That's all it needs. And that now it goes through a lot smoother as soon as you use that. Again, you don't want to use too much. This is plenty right here, just a little bit. Let's say you have an older jacket. Maybe it's something you bought used. Maybe it's something you got off eBay. Maybe it's something that's handed down to you. But let's say someone put way too much leather dressing on the jacket. If you get a jacket, sometimes on our used rack here in the store, I'll see a lot of this. People will over apply the leather dressing and there's just too much on the jacket. It's gonna give it kind of a waxy, pasty feeling. Also, when people do that, it gets inside the threads and you'll see the threads will be kind of coated white. And to get that off, you can use a little bit of heat. In that case, you might wanna use a hair dryer. Don't go directly at it, keep it a little bit out. Just get it kind of hot until it melts a little bit. And then at that point, you can take a cloth and wipe the excess leather dressing off or just smear it into another part of the jacket that's dry that needs a leather dressing, that works too, you know? So when we're talking about used jackets, let's say you have a really old one, like this one is super dry, you know? If we would have been putting leather dressing on this throughout its life, it might not get this dry. I know everyone likes a super old patina, you want the cool look and it's fine. You can get it to a certain point where you like but at that point here, you need to start using leather dressing because if it keeps going too much past the stage that this jacket's at, the leather's going to tear and get old. So this jacket is gonna soak the leather dressing in. As soon as you put a little bit on, it's just gonna soak right into the hide. I know we talked about letting them set overnight. This one, you may only have to let it set for 30 minutes and it may be asking you for another coat right off. The thing is, we just want to get the essential oils back into the hide, keep this hide nice, soft, and supple. Thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to call or email the shop. We're always here to walk you through it.